A Toronto man has been arrested after a dangerous exchange of gunfire yesterday afternoon in Westport. But three other suspects are still at large. The shootout happened on the 200 block of Amelia Street West. Today, police released shocking video of the incident. Mike Lang has been following the story and he joins us live in studio with more details. Mike? Thanks, Riley. 20-year-old Iverson Thomas was arrested and charged with attempted murder, along with six other offenses. The incident is believed to be related to drug trafficking in the city, as a significant quantity of crack cocaine was found in the sus suspect's possession, along with a handgun. Security footage shows a man police identify as Iverson Thomas exiting the structure on the right in pursuit of the three other suspects before opening fire on them. The three other suspects hid behind their vehicle and fired back in response. They then used the vehicle to flee the scene while Thomas escaped by foot. Thunder Bay police officers and the primary response branch were dispatched to the lot on the 200 block of Amelia Street West at 12.45 p.m. on Tuesday. A responding officer observed a male suspect in the area that matched Thomas's description that was provided by witnesses. That allowed for him to be pursued and arrested by officers. Detective Inspector Jeremy Pearson estimates that over 20 rounds of gunfire were exchanged between the suspects. We look at this and we see a wanton disregard for the safety of the public, uh, for the safety of the community, and that should be of grave concern not only for the police but for all members of this community. Uh, we look at that and we see multiple rounds being fired. If you look at the manner in which those firearms are being discharged, uh, the, the shots are, are haphazard. Uh, and I think that's being generous. So this is, of course, of significant concern, not only to the police, but also to the community. While Pearson confirms the vehicle in the video has been seized, he adds that the police are still searching for the three other suspects that are shown in these security photos. We do not believe that this evolved uh, randomly. This was not accidental. There was a deliberate interaction that then led to this exchange. Pearson also applauded the work that was done by the primary response branch and the witnesses who provided the security footage. An excellent, excellent job was done in that initial response, which allowed us to lock down a scene, which allowed us to have the success we had in bringing one individual into custody in very short order and preserving a great deal of evidence, along with the follow-up that then led to the, uh, the video and, uh, and uh, picture evidence that we were able to, uh, to share with the public here today. Pearson says the investigation remains ongoing as they're still seeking witnesses, conducting interviews, and doing forensic examinations. City police encourage anyone with additional information or video footage that can help the investigation to submit it anonymously to the police service or Crime Stoppers. Mike Lang, TBT News.